In this day and age, the world is connected globally through technology. Yet, despite... Should I look at the camera? Yeah, everyone Do I need to? Yeah, that's what most people are doing. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> About right In this day and age, the world is connected globally through technology, yet despite all these connections, much of the world seems to be blind to many pressing issues. One of the most important human issues is viral control. Japanese encephalitis is a particularly important virus in the East, yet the West seems to not even know about this mass killer in Asia. This map shows the area in which encephalitis is commonly seen. <laughs> right. Encephalitis is an acute inflammation of the brain that can result in brain damage due to the the brain being pushed against the skull, or even death. Like the bubonic plague, encephalitis is transmitted through an exotic cycle in which rice field mosquitoes feeding on domestic pigs and wild birds infect the Japanese infected with the Japanese encephalitis virus transfer the virus to humans. Luckily, humans cannot pass the virus among themselves. Once one is infected with the virus, their chance once one is infected with the virus, their chances of living depends primarily on the availability of medical facilities. Case fa case fatality rates range from zero point three to sixty percent. This wide range of case fata fatality this wide range of case fatality exists because many underdeveloped countries lack the funding to provide proper medical care for their citizens. Even if one does not die as a result of the virus, residual, residual neurosip... Wow. Neuropisic... Whatever. Even if one does not die as a result of the virus, brain damage is likely to occur in 30% of the cases. Symptoms can be symptoms can begin to be seen from 5 to 20 days after infection. These symptoms include fever and headache in mild cases, while the more extreme cases are marked by quick onset headache, high fever, neck stiffness, stupor, disorientation, coma, tremors, occasional convulsions, especially in infants, and spastic but rarely flaccid paralysis and spastic but rarely flaccid paralysis. Treatments of the virus are particularly unique as well. Acyclover is affected only against herpes. Acyclover is only effective against herpes and syphilitis so all the forms of the virus must be treated for their symptoms, making treatment severely less effective. Drug therapy includes phenoto phenotoin or another anti-convulsant, usually given, I given through IVs, uh, glucocorid glucocorticoids glucocorticoids to reduce cerebral inflammation and edema, furosemide or manitol to reduce cerebral swelling, sedatives for restlessness, and aspirin or acetophen acetaminophen or acetaminophen to relieve headache and reduce fever. If Naria is unable to give these drugs because they are unavailable, the infected person is likely to die. One common way to diagnose encephalitis is to analyze the 
cerebrospinal is to analyze the cerebrospinal fluid surrounding your brain and spinal cord. A needle inserted into your lower spine below the level of the spinal cord extracts a sample of fluid for laboratory analysis. This also makes it particularly difficult to aid patients in undeveloped areas. Some prevention can be done by understanding when the virus is more, most active. In temperate regions, Japanese encephalitis virus is transmitted during the summer and early fall, approximately from May to September. In subtropical and tropical areas, seasonal patterns of viral transmission are correlated with the abundance of vector mosquitoes and of vertebrae amplifying hosts such as pigs or birds. The best way to prevent viral encephalitis is to avoid the virus at the viruses that lead to this disease by weakening your immune system. One common example is genital herpes, which can be prevented by simply being precautious. It also means making sure individuals are immunized against chickenpox, measles, mumps, and rubella. The virus is not the most difficult virus to stop, but the cause simply lacks funding. Many more developed countries such as China, Korea, Japan, Taiwan, and Thailand have prevented the disease by vaccination, but poorer countries and their citizens continue to suffer because they cannot afford medical aid. Countries that still have periodic epidemics include Vietnam, Cambodia, Myanmar, India, Nepal, and Malaysia. Funding the cause to end encephalitis would not only aid in the end of, virus, of the virus, but it would also bring better medical care to underdeveloped areas in general.